The future is USB-C. There's no denying it, but what's gonna happen to all of my existing devices? I'm gonna be making it my mission to convert all of my existing devices into USB-C, starting with these. I'm not smart enough to do this on my own, but Ken is. Ken is more genius than Genius Bar. He worked long and hard to develop this. Inside this box is a mod to convert your AirPod Pro case to USB-C. Ken has actually made this mod available for purchase. Check out his channel, I'll link it below. I didn't know he gave me AirPods. Thanks, Ken. And here it is. This must have took Ken an insane amount of time to make. Are these actual guitar picks? Here it is. This is Ken's USB-C mod. This is gonna be such a crazy video. I'm so excited to get this thing installed. Thanks, Ken, for sending me some AirPod Pros, but I wanna do this on my own. So based on the instructions that Ken sent, this mod surprisingly isn't that hard to do. This also solidifies the longevity of your AirPods. Doing this also opens the door for you to do a battery swap, and you might as well if you have it open. These guys don't really need one, so I'm gonna skip that. To do this, we're gonna need some pry tools, shout out Jimmy. We're gonna need a vice clamp to squeeze those AirPods. We're also gonna need a torque screwdriver and some tweezers. A heat gun, but this one's optional. Some tape to protect the AirPods and adhesive. And some alcohol, cause this is gonna get stressful. We're also gonna tape around the AirPod case, just so, you know, we don't scuff it up or damage it. Obviously, remove the AirPods when you do this. You don't want them to break. Now we're gonna clamp this onto our vice clamp. We're gonna start prying, but before we do that, word from sponsor. My name might be PRG, but I do really enjoy RPG games. That's why this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Yes, Raid Shadow Legends. It's Raid Shadow Legends birthday. Happy birthday, Raid Shadow Legends. Here's free iPhone. Raid is a completely free to play RPG game. No monies, no problem. You begin by selecting from a huge variety of champions. I just choose the one that looks the strangest because I'm kind of weird like that. There's over 600 of them, so you'll never get bored. But you might have better luck just upgrading one champion than playing with a new one every single time. R is for regular updates and content. Man, I love those updates. A is for the arena. That's where I mess you up. I is for iPhone. That's where I play. D is for Dracomorph. Look at this guy. Raid Shadow Legend actually has one of the best graphics I've ever seen on a mobile game. It's incredibly smooth and it's one of the most popular RPG mobile games in the world. A scientific study reported that 99% of broken phones do not have Raid Shadow Legends. That's where they're all working over here. See this? But that's not all. Since it's Raid's fourth year anniversary, they're giving away a bunch of free stuff. I'm talking about gift promos, codes, epic events, and a free champion, Kellen the Shrike, for new players only. But wait, there's more. New and existing players get a bunch of free birthday gifts. Once you're in game, after clicking on the links, enter promo code four years raid and get four legendary skill tomes, plus a bunch more. Once you're in and f people up, come find me under the DPRG. And if you're fast enough, you can join my clan. Click the link in the description and I'll f you up on the battlefield. <laughs> It's prying time. Our boy Jimmy is such a useful tool when prying into these AirPods. These things are built like tanks, but this vice clamp is putting so much pressure on the AirPods that it's doing most of the heavy lifting. We're gonna have to pry each side ever so slightly until the core of the AirPods kind of just pop up. A tiny bit of heat helps, but too much can burn the case, so we have to be really careful. But unfortunately, a tiny bit of damage is inevitable. Apple uses crazy strong glue. Seriously, I want to know where they buy this stuff. But with some alcohol, it's nothing we can't handle. Oh, it came up a little bit. At this point, I thought I had it, but then there we go. Off. So this is what was supposed to happen, and this is what happened. I ripped a flex cable. Fortunately, this flex cable belonged to the charging port. The charging port that I'm going to replace anyway. So we're good. Now we have to remove the lightning cable. Oh, okay. We can literally just pull out the lightning flex cable. We'll push out the metal spacer. There we go. Now we can pull out Ken's mod, and we need this 
little metal spacer. So what we're gonna do is put this little metal spacer where the other little metal spacer was. We'll use some tweezers. So far, this has been extremely easy and we'll just place that in there. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of glue so it sticks. That's in there nice and snug. Check this out, it says kenp.io. That's so sick. Now we have to install the USB-C. We wanna make sure that this flex cable is bending this way while this one is bending that way. We're gonna screw everything back in. Now this is kind of the hard part. We have to get these connectors onto this tiny little board and I have to remove this connector. As you can see, it's glued down. Thank you, Apple. This isn't a bad thing though because it does help with water resistance. Oh, that, that wasn't hard at all. Let's see if Ken's connector fits. If I told you this was the hardest part of this entire mod, would you believe me? Such an awkward angle to work with. Every time I thought I had it, it would just disconnect. But then... I got it. Before we close it up, we're gonna test it out. Hopefully this works. So I'm just gonna push this in. Okay. This probably shouldn't have taken so long. Even my cameraman ended up giving up. But then, we finally did it. Apple's gonna be pissed about this one. Now it's time for the scary part. We're gonna test out these AirPods with this USB-C port and see if this thing works. We'll grab our charger. Why am I scared to try this? Let's, uh, let's, let's see if this works. Yo, it actually works. The app meter says the AirPods Pro are charging and there is an LED. If you're like me and like doing mods like this, I definitely recommend trying this out. It's worth a try. It wasn't that time consuming compared to some of the other mods I've done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell button and uh, shout out to our members, Supreme Guru members to be precise.